Hey guys, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my April bullet journal setup. This month I decided to go with something a bit more, I don't know, cartoony and out there. I really wanted to do a more Easter theme, but I didn't want it to be too Easter if that's even a thing. And I did actually do my last year's um, Easter theme, had a little bunnies and, and grass and eggs and it was just too Easter. -y. So this year I wanted to again incorporate bunnies in some way But instead what I decided to go with was Alice in Wonderland as a theme And the only bunnies that I have are these cute little stickers of little tiny bunnies and little teacups And I thought it was just so Alice inspired that it just kind of the, the sticker kind of dictated the whole theme uh, and uh, yeah, so what you are seeing me do right now is the cover page and I did um, the... Uh, I forget what the cat was called, but you know, the cat that disappears and only his um, smile is left. Um, I really can't remember what the cat's name was. Did it even have a name? I don't know. Anyway, I only drew the mouth with the whiskers and the little nose and I think it turned out really cute. For the heather, I um, added some stripes because if I remember correctly in the animation, the cat had these, uh, it was purple with pink stripes or something like that. And that is kind of what I went for in terms of um, the titles and uh, all of the text and the rest of the theme is actually pretty simple in terms of color It's mostly black and white uh, And gray, it's very neutral and I added just some hints of red here and there um, After the first page which is very minimalistic in terms of color on the second page. I actually have um, just a simple silhouette of Alice from the Disney movie and it's literally only the silhouette and I also have like a little hat the Mad Hatter's hat um, and on the side where I added all the dates all the important dates I did a, a kind of a full page of just a calendar and I made each day look like a card and I thought that was really cool because in Alice in Wonderland, you know, there's the Queen of Hearts and there's all these cards and I didn't use only the hearts, I oh, I incorporated all of the shades, um, Artico shades, I don't even know, all of the, um, you know, spades and clubs and everything and I think it turned out really cool. Um, I I don't know, I really like this theme. It's very simple, very minimalistic and I do believe that a lot of people can actually redo it because it's really not anything special. So if you do want to recreate it, I would love to see um, what you incorporate, how you do it, if you do anything differently. I would just love to see your creations as well. And you can always, um, I'll have my Instagram handle and the description box down below you can always tag me if you decide to recreate anything i will again love to see what you guys do so here you're seeing me add all the things on my first page on my first page i like to do like a tiny little calendar with an overview which is the important dates and on the side something i started doing since last month is um add just books and movies that i would like to read and see and this month I added two books that I am currently reading and I added just a movie from last month that I never got the chance to watch which I will probably or hopefully watch this month. Then I add my to-do list down below right next to Alice's silhouette and on the other side is actually where I do all my planning. I definitely keep my bullet journaling very simple. I mentioned this in my previous setup and my first setup that I did um, in March. I keep it very simple and I don't uh, add too much effort in it because I do use it on very, very rare occasions only to just remember some things and keep track of things. I don't do weekly spreads. I only do this one spread with all of the dates and I just add all of my appointments. Um, I, uh, my life is really not that busy, at least not at this point. So I really see no need for me personally to do a weekly spread. If you want to do a weekly spread, 
of course you can just do it it's your bullet journal it's your life whatever helps you stay organized personally at this point in my life i just don't need it um but i would love to see if you recreate like a similar theme i would love to see how you do your weekly spreads on the other page i do my trackers and these are all my habit trackers and on the other page i do my social media trackers and in terms of my habit trackers i i usually keep it very simple i use just um like paper that already has squares on it and i just write down all of my habits and i just color in the squares but this this month i decided to do something differently and i created this um circular thing that you're seeing on the screen and in the center i put a cup of tea and i thought that was cute because you know the mad hatter and his tea and everyone drinks tea in wonderland and it's just a teacup of as seen above uh, and i do end up coloring uh, every little square that you see, you ha I have um, all of the sections and all of the uh, different squares that represent the different habits that I want to track and you will see at the end when I flip through the whole theme how exactly I colored in all of the squares and what I do exactly to keep track of the, you know, well, habits. And on the other side, I keep track of my Instagram and my... Um, YouTube and my I just realized that I forgot my Twitter account yep I just realized that oh well I don't really use Twitter all that much so whatever um, and uh, yeah I added those stickers that the stickers that I mentioned with the bunny and the teacups and on the other side uh, is actually my last page where I do kind of like a brain dump and I call it just thoughts on top and I usually write down quotes that I really like or um, just thoughts that I've had through the month just anything that inspires me or makes me sad or happy or just leaves an impression on me and that's what I do here on this side and I added some teacup uh, stickers on the bottom as well kind of feel like it was kind of an overkill on this page because we have the teacups on top and then more teacups on the bottom so I don't know what I was thinking but I was shooting late at night so I don't know I guess I just I didn't think think it through very much so we're about to get into the quick flip through of the whole theme and um, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do recreate it, let me know. I would love to see your version of it. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.